Welcome back to my channel, Moon Girl Tarot. It's your girl, Chris Marie, and happy full moon. This full moon is going to be in the sign of Capricorn, a cardinal sign, home of the 10th house. But as it is right now, it is Sunday, July 2nd, and we are going to look at the astrology that is building up to this energy of the full moon. So thank you so much. If you are new here, I am a psychic medium located in Pueblo West, Colorado. Feel free to check me out or come get a session if you like and visit www.moongirltarot.com. Okay. So let's build on to it. So we already have this energy coming here forward. We are now in the full moon phase. Okay. So I love an early full moon. We are building the light Officially, we're going to be illuminated tonight, okay, um, right about midnight. But as we are here, the moon is in Capricorn, and we are paying attention. We're paying attention to the foundations of life, and we understand that we need to repair and we need to restructure. Financial matters, of course, because it is Capricorn. It is money, and with that money, you want to make solid plans, now, right now, the moon starts its phase, building up this beautiful evening in the third house of communications, negotiations, and contracts. Listen, my cool, weird friends, learn by this energy around you. And as we go around throughout this day and through the evening into tomorrow, you can see we do have trines. Now, a trine is one or two planets, usually three here, right, trine? Working together together providing opportunity and energy flow. Look, I kind of see a, lots of little portals here, little signs here. So what do we have is a trine to Mars. Now Mars is the planet of drive and direction and Mars is in Leo joined with Venus and Leo in the fifth house. Baby, this is energy of the brave of drive. So even though it might feel like rash behavior because we are in the full moon, it really is something that's showing you and showcasing leadership skills. You might strike out. You might be upset. It might not go your way. Let's face it. It is going to be a full moon. It is going to go into Capricorn. However, how you show the tolerance, the energy how you provide clarity is going to help you move forward in that positive direction. Now let's talk about dreams. Ooh, I love dreams. And personally, I've been dreaming, astral dreaming, and all of the good energy. And it, things have been so vivid. Very, very, very vivid. So why? Let's talk about why. So there's a square to Neptune. And now when we have a square, we have these planets kind of working um, with each other, but not so really. Different, it's confusing. It, it, it's confusion. So what is so confusing about this, but there's some good news about this as well, is that in your dreams and your nervous and your anxiety and the things that are going on, your dreams right now are trying to show you the solution by relaxing, listening, showing music and showing some kind of communicating and spiritual awareness. So you might be seeing deities, you might be seeing ancestors, spirits, whatever you would like to call them. You might be visiting or seeing some self about that self with you. So this is a medium influence and this is communication from the other side, as you can say, the dream side of the future. That maybe right now is confusing, especially with this cardinal energy, with the Capricorn full moon, asking you to make these quick decisions, but letting you know that the self-confidence and the trust and the drive and the direction, and the things and the nature that you're involving yourself in is going to be rewarding. So that's exciting. So let's take a look at what's happening in the seventh house. Chiron, our emotional pains and things that are happening. Now, this is very important because, you know, in the background of full moon, we have a lot of releasing. We have a lot of relationships ending. We also have separations of business, business partners. We have people changing jobs as well. So with this energy here, there are some relationships. There are some painful memories. There are some feelings of rejection. However, because of those feelings and because of that direction, you might overcome this or teach your partner something. So I always say, if you're in this energy of the full moon and you and your partner are having some times, 
You can either ask yourself, is this the energy that you know? Are you having the self-confidence to be able to move on and move forward? Or is your partner just going through a lot of things, some painful memories, a hard time? And maybe this is something you guys come together. I do offer sessions. And if you need clarity on your personal private situations, go to moongirltarot.com and select an online tarot card reading. Okay. So Pluto is in Capricorn and in retrograde. And Pluto is the sign of transformation. We had this huge transformation. We had Pluto change signs. And in this case, it is in the fourth house. The fourth house of cancer, the fourth house of security, family, and a new phase for all that are involved. Now, this also represents metaphysical a spiritual side because cancer is the moon. When we think of like the tarot card, if you guys are learning tarot, definitely check out my podcast where you can learn some tarot from me. But when you see that energy, you know that it's going to be rewarding and it's going to shine light on something on the bigger picture associated with business, new relationships, new marriages, new partnerships, and throwing out and saying goodbye and re, you know, just to old businesses, old partnerships, and taking what you learn, you're not completely, you know, trashing it and saying, you know, la vie. <laughs> you are establishing new habits and you're learning to face the truth. So this energy with Pluto and the full moon and Capricorn and both of them, it might feel so overwhelming, but so energetic that all these things are happening at once. But I'm here to tell you, my cool weird friends, that's why I'm here. That's why I have this astrology here for you because you can kind of have some light and some clarity like, okay, there are things being challenged at this time. There are things happening. However, I'm able to navigate it, right? And I want you to have that understanding that you can navigate your energy. You can navigate life. And you can be angry and you can be frustrated and you can get good news and you can release any kind of nervous stuff. It is um, artistic and spiritual, right? All at the same time. So let's talk about the last thing, the destiny of fate. Something that's building up extremely that has been and that, since the moon was in Scorpio just a few days ago. This is a sensitive point in astrology. These are signs and things that you want to look out for. So you are going to trust your heart. Now, these signs and these feelings, you know, sometimes I'm saying like, hey, look at the signs. Like, you know, you'll see these numbers and probably, yes, you'll probably see numbers. You'll see 10, 10. You'll see 12, 12. You'll see the, the, the numbers associated with partnerships and love. Things that are happening in real time and changing as well in the moment. Adjustments life's journey. Now, life's journey and adjustments and accommodating other people's needs, this give and take can be hard. And it's probably what's been happening a lot in this transit. So I want you to understand whatever's happening in your private life, because let's face it, Capricorn, right? You know, even though you are in the public and the profession and things that are transitioning, there are some private things that you rather right? Keep to yourself. And there's some things that you would like to keep public. So there are some adjustments that are making. There are things moving around. There are an enjoyable times that are spending at home with other people. And I want you to understand that the energy that you're sharing with now, with yourself, with somebody else, the love that is shining through right now. So here, this, this is what I want you to understand, my coverage friends. There's, there's something very particular because we are in the season of the, the crab, the cancer. The two, they walk sideways. They have the claws. Snip, snip. <laughs> and with this energy, you have support. In this Capricorn energy, in this toughness, you have support. In a way where you feel like you cannot walk through, you're able to fit and go a different direction. So understand that even though these challenges, these emotions, these things that are happening, 
you really are getting closer to yourself, to the needs of you and the adjustments and with your partner. Now, the sun in Cancer at the 10th degree of Capricorn right now. So that is good news. This, there are good news coming our way. People are going to be happy, right, around, and that includes you as well. So even though things are going to be here and there and might be frustrating or you might be experiencing, understand that there is going to be support. You also need an outlet and you also need to keep yourself busy in a sense, but not too busy. Keep yourself adventurous. Understand if you do make plans or things happen, you can change them. You are an accomplishment. You are amazing. And you also have a strong sense of ability, my friends, to achieve small tasks, okay? And not and the big ones, of course. You thought I was going to say the huge live your dreams. Of course, I want you to live your dreams. But also understand the small little tasks are also rewarding. And steady, slow space is good. And experiences and things that you're happening now are great. Now, the aspects of this are going to be extremely heavy. We are going to see changes, of course, for Cancer. We're going to see changes for the Earth sign because we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now, Pisces, let's talk about you, Pisces. And we do have uh, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo through you guys in there. Because you have that mutable energy, you are transitioning and changing. Saturn is hitting through your, uh, your sixth house of services to others. So you're understanding different roles and different roles that might may be and vivid dreams coming through. So yeah. And then we have a uh, fixed like energy. We have Taurus, we have Leo, we have Scorpio, Aquarius. Things are transitioning for the better, for sure. And you're being optimistic. And I love that there for you. Keep going with that energy and see where it goes. But also understand, it doesn't need a big grand thing that you can always do little things to continue to work on the overall energy. Well, my friends, I am so excited for this Capricorn full moon, for these positive changes, for these rewards, for these experiences for these plans that we've been having and a way to express our true self and expand our horizons privately and publicly. Let me know down below in the comments what you're trying to manifest. What are you trying? What, what steady accomplishment are you working right now? Is there something to look forward to the future? Of course, a project. And also, what are you breaking free of? What was holding you back from expanding that true self and from that horizons? And by all means, share what you have looking forward to. Thank you so much. This is Chris Murray with Moon Girl Tarot, and I look forward to talking with you.